Courtney, you first. We were going through this whole story about GameStop and the frenzy over these stocks, and there are a lot of people who said that type of thing is the sign that there's a bubble in the market. The bubble hasn't burst. We're up today at record highs yet again. Is that a sign that there was no bubble to begin with? What are you seeing out there? Yeah, I mean, we definitely saw some volatility that happened with all the GameStop news, but you really have to look at the fundamentals of the market. And the economy is recovering so strongly here. And I think that arguably has a lot of room to run. And when you look here, a lot of times we're going to follow things like the S&P 500 or the Dow Jones, which have been doing great. But there's a lot of other areas of the economy. So think of your physical, things like small companies, your foreign companies, things like energy have way outperformed the S&P 500. And so I think you need to look at where the best value is, but there's still a lot of room to run in the economy and especially certain sectors right now. Talked a lot through this pandemic about a disconnect between a record high in the stock market and the struggles of the economy. But are we going in the right direction um, in the job market here? Finally. And if so, when do we get back to where we need to be? Yeah, I would definitely say that we're heading in the right direction. I think some of the job numbers have already shown that. Um, When you look at the numbers that just came out this week, unemployment is coming in lower than it was expected. Um, That being said, we're still a lot higher than we were pre-pandemic. but We're definitely trending in the right direction here. We're seeing unemployment go down. We're also seeing um, savings rates are continuing to do really well which means with all this stimulus that's coming in, consumers are doing a really good job of making sure that they have this safety net out there. And also that's a lot of money that can still make its way back into the economy or back into the stock markets, one of the two. And so there's still a lot of room to run. And that's why the markets are are what we call a forward pricing method. So they're going to price in these things hopefully months before it happens. And that's why you're seeing the markets do so well and the economy data will likely follow that.